Hello everyone, so welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I'm going to talk about um, what you're going to expect after you pass your NCLEX RN exam under the Out of New York State Board or in case you failed your exam, what is your, what is your next step? <laughs> Uh, so let's start. Uh, first, let's talk about in case uh, you failed your uh, NCLEX exam under the NYSED. Uh, in case you failed your exam, you could uh, retake your exam uh, with a uh, eight attempt until you pass your exam. So each year, you have uh, eight times to take the exam. The New York State um, Education Department they allow the applicant to take the exam for at least eight times in a year unlike the other state boards um, you are not allowed to take a limited uh, attempt so, uh, example of that is florida so in florida if you took your NCLEX exam three times and you failed your exam for the last attempt so you are not allowed to take the exam anymore you need to do the mandatory refresher course to take again and become eligible again to take the exam. Unlike in uh, New York State, if you register in a New York State uh, Education Department for NCLEX uh, RN exam, you have unlimited attempt to take the exam until you pass the exam. But you need to wait at least 45 days to take another attempt in case you failed your first attempt. And in your exam, so all you're going to do is you need to go back to your uh, Pearson account. You don't need to submit any documents again. You already have a file and registration in their system. So you just need to go back to your Pearson View account. You just need to pay $200 to register again. And once you register, you just need to wait at least two to three weeks to uh, wait for your ATT or the attest attestation to take the eligibility for the exam. And once you have the ATT, you have the schedule also to take the exam. And within that schedule, you need to wait 45 days to take for your second attempt. And if you're going to take the exam internationally, you need to pay also again 150 US dollars. So that is the amount that you need to pay. So the first one is for registering again for the exam, which is $200 and another $150 if you're going to take the exam international. So for our next topic, so in case you pass your exam, congratulations. I know it's not easy to take the NCLEX uh, exam. Some says it easy, some says no. But in my own opinion, I could say if if it's your time, it's your time. <laughs> so sometimes you cannot predict what the questions will come out through your screen. Sometimes you got lucky if the exam or the questions that you encounter in the exam is you study on it. So lucky for you, you can probably answer or at least have an idea which choice or answer that you're going to pick. But for me, in my opinion, or my honest opinion, NCLEX is one of the hard um, nursing exam that I took because it's not only multiple choice. You need to use critical thinking, judgment, application, prioritization, all your um, stock knowledge. You need to use it and you need to study. Not hard, but you need to study wise. So. You will be expecting a white big round envelope so it look like this one so they're gonna send you uh, this envelope through your mailbox so you need to check out your mailbox every now and then so just to be sure you will receive it because this one is an important document after you pass your NCLEX exam and in this envelope um you will i'm going to show you what all the included or what all the documents that you will receive so the first uh um uh, letter that you're going to receive is just like this one uh 
congratulatory so it's just like they're gonna say you uh congratulations on licensure this letter is a company accompanies your license and your registration certification and also the expiration date in order to practice in new york state so you must maintain your registration and notify the state education department of office of the profession within 30 days of any changes on your name so you need to keep this one because in case you need to change your name or address you need to notify them 30 days prior or within 30 days after you change your name or your address so it's gonna be look like this so the second document that you're gonna receive from nysed so the nysed is only the one who gave you this official document so you will not receive anything from the person view sometimes the person view in your dashboard you're gonna see an official um result but that one is not yet uh officially so once you receive this document so it means that you are officially registered to nysed and once you see your name in the dashboard it means you are officially registered to new york state um, education department as registered list. so it's also included in the document is your licensee and registrant so in this one it look like this so it's gonna show you all the information and this uh in this form it's gonna says or include your license number your certificate number your name and your also your address and it's saying also in here that you register to practice in new york state uh until when is your expiration for your licensure so you need to renew it i think you need to renew it before your before your license is gonna be expired and the last document that you receive from them or included in the white big envelope is this one like a certification so it looked like this so it's just like a certification that it's gonna show you um your name it says the university of the state of new york education department be it known that your name of course is written in here your first name your middle name and your last name you need to make sure it's all correct you can contact them if you see that all the information in your documents is uh there's mistakes so you need to uh, contact them in their contact number in their website just to make sure everything is correct written in your documents that you receive so it says here that having given satisfactory evidence of the completion of professional and other requirements prescribed by the law is qualified to practice as a registered professional nurse in the state of New York. In witness were of the education department grant this licensure under its seal at Albany, New York. This the day when you become registered. So that's uh, all the information um, that you will receive after you pass your NCLEX uh, or an exam in the New York State Board or the New York State uh, Education Department. And that's also how you're going to uh, reapply to take the exam again in case you are not um, able to pass your first attempt.